Now, lawmakers opened a hearing Monday to find out who's responsible in the toxic humidifier disinfectant incident that killed and seriously injured hundreds of people here in Korea. The first day of the two-day hearing didn't exactly go to plan, though, as more than a dozen witnesses didn't even bother showing up. Kim Jeon reports. On the first day of the hearings on Monday, National Assembly lawmakers grilled witnesses related to the toxic disinfectants production and distribution. Their questions were focused on whether British consumer goods company Reckitt Bank Kieser were aware of experiments indicating that disinfectants hazardous elements when acquired the Oxy unit in 2001. Lawmaker Yi Man Yi from the ruling Sunri Party argued that the group should be held responsible for discontinuing experiments originally conducted by Oxy before the buyout, despite the former Oxy CEO having asked that they be passed on to the British company. Another lawmaker, Hong Ik Pyo from the main opposition Minju Party of Korea, expressed regrets that out of the 28 witnesses summoned for the case, 13 of them, including former Oxy CEO Gaurav Jain, did not attend the hearing. Lawmakers, including the Senri Party's Hat Taegyeong, criticized the lack of cooperation from the British authorities, who have said the case is not a matter for government involvement. The head of Oxy Reckitt Bank Kieser, Atao Lassi Saftal, who did participate in the hearing, apologized to the people hurt by its products and their families. But he added the company was following local guidelines and regulations at the time, noting the PHMG, or polyhexamethylenguanidine, was not then categorized as a hazardous substance. Safdal acknowledged that later research showed Oxy's products may have caused direct harm to the human body and added that he was not aware of the product's child safe mark, which was placed without prior testing. The next National Assembly hearing on the case is to include testimony from senior officials from the country's top distributors, including Emart, Lotte Mart, and Home Plus. The humidifier disinfectant case came to light after four pregnant women died of unknown lung problems in 2011, which led to an investigation that confirmed a connection between more than 100 deaths from lung problems and the chemicals used to clean household humidifiers. Kim Jeon, Arirang News.